Dr. Cohen, can you explain to us what comorbid or co-occurring conditions mean and maybe give a few examples of what you frequently see with migraine? Sure. So comorbidity is just a condition that's commonly seen with another condition. So in this case, we're talking about migraine. Migraine has a lot of comorbidities. So the common ones is from anxiety, depression, sleep conditions such as obstructive sleep apnea or or insomnia. We also see several kinds of abdominal conditions. It's that's you know when you think about it, migraine has nausea and whatnot, so gastroparesis um, and and things like that. So it's just conditions again that are seen, and it doesn't mean one leads to another. Like for instance, it doesn't mean if you have migraine, that means you're going to develop depression or a stomach issue. No, it just means that there are correlations that have been established that we see these together. Yeah, that makes sense. And why is it for migraine that there's such a link with so many other conditions? Well, I guess you could think of it like this. What controls the body? The brain, you know? So this is something that's happening up in the brain. The brain is control of everything. And that's, and that's one reason that I think why we can see with so many different things. You know, what's the brain doing? It's stimulus. So, you know, in a migraine era, if you, you could think of it like this, almost overstimulus is a lot of these pain signals going off. And it's why I think we can see other conditions as well, uh, because again, we're dealing with the central computer of the body. And of course, being in a chronic state of pain can invite a whole slew of other problems. So I think that's why we can see a good number of comorbidities when it comes to migraine. 